Okay, so let's carry on with the work and so I'm going to cut the wing into three parts so I'm going to create two lines like this and just pay attention not to cut the flaps and here I would say to turn like this and put the line right in the middle uh, I'm just need to create another one right here then touch the flaps and I think the two lines are just enough to cut the wing into three parts. So all you need to do is select the line, hit C on the keyboard, then select the wing to cut it. And I'm going to put the lines into their folder here to keep things consistent and just hide the rest of the wing because we're, we're going to work on that for now. So what I want to do now I'm going to hold down Alt and select the loop and click on Patch Hole and just play around with the tolerance till you get a decent result. Okay, I'm happy with that. So let's grab the Circle tool now and create a circle right here. Don't forget to turn off the transparency and just place it here. I'm going to turn on the rectangular array and create five copies. You can hold down shift and mouse wheel up and down to decrease or increase the number of clones. I'm just eyeballing those guys. Just like that. Now I'm going to place some other circles right here just to fill the empty space. So you can select any curves and hit Shift S to subdivide it so that you'll get more control points to work with. Okay, so I think I'm going to fill this empty space too. So let's grab the line tool and just draw something like this. Close the curve. Select the curve and hit Shift S to subdivide it, like I said. Then select, then select the curve again and hit Shift I. And so the requester will pop up and all you need to do is click on Normal and Hide Occlusion and click OK that will imprint the curve on your wing. And what I want to do now is select all the shapes. I'm going to do exactly the same. Select all that shapes. Hit Shift I, normal, hide occlusion and click OK. OK. Uh, let's select the space here and hit E on the keyboard to extrude it. I just want to give it a little bit of thickness like this, just a few millimeters. And then I think I can delete those phase. Select those phase and hit shift and delete. Okay. And I'm just going to fill up everything. So, just a tip. In such a situation, it's better to fillet sharp corners before filleting the boundary of the shape. This will allow you to select the entire loop by holding down Alt and click on the edge, just in one go. Just like this. Okay, I'm going to do the same work right here. I don't want to bore you to death, guys. I'm going to speed up the video a lot. <laughs> 